just been having a little walk along the beach looking for some fossils and I've spotted a really nice or at least what looks to be a really nice ammonite fossil. I'll show you a bit of the scenery around us then we'll have a look at the fossil and if it turns out to be a good one I'm going to crack it open whilst we're down on the beach. At the end of the video I'll also be sure to show a really nice fossil that we've got at home so we're going to see quite a few nice little bits and pieces today. Whilst I've already spotted one ammonite fossil, we'll also be having a look across the beach, across the shingle and the pebbles, to see if we can spot any more fossils that might be hiding about. Then if we do, we'll be cracking those open in this video as well. Quite a lot to come. Amongst all of this shingle and little pieces of shale, I've managed to come across what looks to be a really nice ammonite fossil, hidden just slightly beneath the sand. I'm going to walk over towards the fossil now and hover the camera above it with the fossil in shot. Have a look and see if you can spot it. So the fossil is in shot now. Have a little look around, see if you can spot it. It is quite subtle and I only just managed to spot it as I happened to walk over the top of it. This fossil is right down there, you can sort of just about make out the edge of one of the outer worlds. Admittedly looking back through the footage myself it is very difficult to spot this one. See there the edge of the ammonite all the way around. Hopefully it's complete. And it is. Both sides covered by a very thin layer of rock. I think we should prop this between a couple of rocks and chip off this piece of stone to reveal, hopefully, an absolutely perfect ammonite inside this. Before we split it open, we might as well have a little look round, see if we can spot any more fossils. The tide hasn't reached up here for quite some time looking at things. Seems like it's only been reaching to about this part of the beach perhaps. partial ammonite there, nothing salvageable. I think this part of the beach has probably been picked over so much that there's pretty 
pretty small chance there's actually anything left now, especially with the tide not washing over it again. Might have a bit more luck. This part of the beach where the sea has definitely been washing over it. I've got one fossil in shot here. Have a look and see if you can spot where it is. There's also another rock which potentially contains another ammonite, but it's very difficult to tell at this moment until we pick it up. So we've certainly got one right there, and I'm not sure if this is also a fossil. I guess we'll see. So that's got a little ammonite across there, and a bigger one next to it. So that's got two fossils within the same stone. This one, oops, this one I think is probably completely empty. Maybe we can give it a little hit with the hammer anyway. It's got a crack around it. We'll let it open up along that crack and see if there is anything inside. So we've got two rocks to open up now. Got a couple of nice fossils there. I found a nice little gap that we can lodge them between to keep them steady while we crack them open. Let's go crack them open now. Here we go with the first one. Now this is the rock where we saw the crack around the edge. Opened pretty easily actually. Although the crack, it's a bit of a red herring. It's nothing at all inside. Okay, that's fine. Let's get on to the next one. Well, this is the one that I'm pretty excited about. I know I've opened a fair few ammonites over the years, however, just ammonites like this, which just look perfect. It's always exciting trying to open them up. Here we go. Okay. All right, there we go. So, I haven't looked inside it yet. Let's have a look. I wasn't sure at first if it had cracked all the way around or not, however, it has. Let's take a look inside. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. I did not expect it to be that perfect. That is stunning. You don't get many that open that well. For that just to be lying on the beach amongst that shingle. That's awesome. Well, it's fair to say that that opened very, very well indeed. I'm gonna head home now though, and then I've got an even better fossil to show you when I get back. I'll see you in a moment. Well, I'm back home now, and it's time to have a look at that special fossil which I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And today, whilst I often show bits of bones and special ammonites and things, I've got something quite different to show. And this is a small, really delicate, but well-preserved fossil fish head. So I'll show you it now. Here's a look at it. Very, very delicate. 
as you can see, you can clearly make out one of the eyes of the fish. This is as though the fish has been preserved on its side. So here's the eye of the fish, the top of the head. One of the jaws, so the lower jaw. And here is its mouth. Really, really unusual and also rare find. And it's very odd to have just literally found the head. There was nothing at all else preserved. All there was, was the head. And we had this for many years, just sat in our workshop, not knowing what it was. And my dad decided to prepare it. And this is what it turned out to be. There we have it. Really nice find. And we got that lovely ammonite earlier in the video as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.